Hey y'all, welcome back to the party. It's your girl Britt Reacts, and today we are reacting to Tom Segura accidentally commissioned a six foot tall painting of his son. Let's see what he has to say. I understand you were expecting your second child, is that That's right? That's right, yep. That's right. Yeah. Is it a, uh, do you know if it's a boy or a girl? Well, we don't like to gender, but we're, we're gonna go with boy. Is what we're <laughs> gonna go with boy. Yep. Yep. Gender. We don't like to gender what? Guess? Like what? I just want to give a major shout out to this jacket that he's wearing. This bomber jacket is so nice. It's like suede and felt maybe and some type of hide. I don't know. It's so nice. Like Tom, your stylist is bomb. Unless he doesn't have a stylist and then he's just bomb. I would wear that jacket. Anyway, let's let's keep going. You're a sign boy, yep, yep. okay. Have you come up with any names yet? That's the big pressure. It's a lot of pressure. We're considering Carl's Jr. and we're also <laughs> considering Ruth's Chris. And I Carl's can't. Jr. Ruth's Chris. Because uh -huh. I did some research, like Ruth's Chris is a great steakhouse. I've always, but I've never understood that name, Ruth's you, Chris you Steakhouse. Should, you yeah. shouldn't understand that name because <laughs> what happened was a lady named Ruth bought a place named... I've never thought about that. Ruth's? Cause is it a, it's is it is it an apostrophe like it she owns Chris? I'm googling. I've never understood it, y'all. I mean, I never thought about it. I never thought about it. Sorry, I'm Google. I'm literally googling. <laughs> it is an apostrophe, so it's Chris belongs to Ruth. <laughs> so whose steakhouse is it? Is it Chris's steakhouse? But it all belongs to, let's see, let's, Tom's gonna tell us. <laughs> what happened was a lady named Ruth bought a place named Chris Steakhouse mm -hmm. and she wanted people to know it was hers. Is he serious? So <laughs> she called it Ruth's Chris, uh -huh. which is so dumb. Yeah. Like, yeah. Is that true? But if I have a son, he's mine, he's Tom's. Right. So I could go with Tom's Ruth's Chris Steakhouse Segura. <laughs> and I think I will. You're gonna do that? I think I, I will. I, there's, I see no reason not to call a child that. It's eccentric, it's fun. <laughs> do you get, do you, I mean. Uh, for I need to know if that story is true and I could dig further, but we're here doing this. So let me know in the comments and save me the digging. Thank you. First of all, I understand that you got a special gift for your first son. Is that right? That's right, yeah. I mean, you know, on Instagram, it's a, it's a great showcase for artists and I follow a bunch of artists and I found this one that I loved this guy named Belin from uh, Spain. And I started following him and I was like, oh, my son, I, you know, I could, maybe I could commission artwork from this guy sure. of my son. That's cool. So I contact them, I get in touch with his assistant and the, all the conversations are in Spanish. Like I speak pretty good Spanish. So I'm like feeling myself. I'm like, I got this, you know? And <laughs> we're just. Every time he reminds me that he is, I think Peruvian, Peruvian, Peruvian. I like forget and then I'm like that I just that's so cool to me because I mean honestly you don't look at Tom and think Spanish but you hear his last name when I first heard his last name I was like what's going on uh so I just think that's cool and to know he speaks pretty good Spanish that's also cool discussing the price and how long it'll take and then they send the dimensions and it's metric and I don't even think to calculate that I just go like <laughs> Well, I've decided that all paintings are three feet by two feet, so right. that's what this will be too. Right. And then it arrives and I take it to a friend. Three by two, is that big for a painting regardless, metric or, is that, I don't know. Frame shop. And, and I go just, show up? It just, it showed just up a like, tube, so oh, I, don't even, tube. I don't even open it. And I yeah. just take it straight there and I tell the lady I want this framed and I just, I take a walk around the shop and I hear her audibly gasp. Like, <laughs> she's like, oh. she goes, sir, you might want to see this. And I go, what? And I go, uh-oh, it's seven feet tall. We have it. Take a look at this. Take a look at this. <laughs> it's huge. Insanity. It's, it's, you had no idea. I had no idea. First of all, that baby is freaking cute. Oh my gosh, that thing is huge. Is it up in the house? <gasps> it looks like you're entering the king's lair when you walk down the hall. <laughs> it's like, I, like, like my son is like, it's, I have to be on the entire wall when we, and, yeah. and like, I, people walk in my house, like, this is intense, dude. Like, you know, 
your, your son runs this place. Like, yeah. yeah. For sure. Yeah. Now here's the question. What do you do for the next kid? Because think about that. Of course. And now my wife, she's like, you know, like you can't do like a small painting. I'm like, well, how about we, we'll do a gold statue and... <laughs> Put it in the front yard. It. <laughs> Put it in the front and yard. And people can bow when they enter. Yeah, yeah. And we'll yeah. have these two little psychos running around the house. Yeah. Thinking, these two little King Joffreys running <laughs> around. That's exactly what I thought about when he said, uh, going into the King's Lair, I thought of Joffrey from Game of Thrones. Yeah, spot on. Why aren't our names on the front of the house? Yeah. yeah. I'll be like, all right, that's the next move. All right, it's your house. That is so funny. And they really put it up. I mean, you spent all the money. Why not? <laughs> what a cute little baby he is. Oh, my goodness. All right, y'all. Go have the day you deserve. Peace.